to good bank to all so myself uh, as tamil chinnan from erodu uh, sengundar engineering college tamil nadu and uh, today i am going to explain about the data structure concept so so uh, basically data structure uh, concept so data structure is a way of organizing the data so uh, 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 before that uh, first what is meant by data so data is a input uh, uh, given to the computer and uh, mm, uh, there are uh, a lot of data available in the world but uh, uh, we have to store the data uh, is a essential is a essential one and uh, we have to store the data in a specific order so that uh, uh, we can go for data structures so uh, the formal definition of the data structure is the way of organizing the data the way in which we have organized the data is called a data structures so data structures uh, can be classified into two types so first one uh, linear data structure and second one is a non linear data structure so in the linear data structure consist of uh, four types uh, array stack queue and a linked list in the non linear data structure consist of two types graphs and tree in the linear data structure so, so all the data uh, have to be arranged in a sequential manner that is the data has to be stored one after another so so the best example for the linear data structures are array list stack and queue and the list uh, is a collection of data uh, can be stored without uh, any principal so we can store uh, the data uh, as well as we can insert and uh, delete the data at any location in a list uh, example for the list is uh, our phone number list of names etc so in the list uh, uh, we can have a, a linked list concept so, so linked list uh, is uh, linked list is a collection of nodes uh that can be linked together so basically the linked list uh, can be divided into three types so singly linked list doubly linked list as well as the circular linked list in a singly linked list uh, each and every node consists of two fields and first one is a data field and uh, next one is a pointer fields uh, which is used to store the address of the next node and uh, and the last node of the list can be identified by the null value uh, that is the last node the next to pointer of the last node can be can, can be defined as a null value so that uh, uh, so that uh, uh, that node will be considered as a last node in a linked list so we can uh, uh, in a single linked list uh, we can have a, a one forward pointer between the nodes that forward pointer can be generated uh, by using one concept that is and the second node of the address can be stored in a first node of the next field uh, after uh, after storing the address one forward pointer can be generated so uh, in a single linked list can be of a single pointer that is forward pointer only so uh, in a doubly linked list uh, each and every node uh, can have three fields uh, first one is a, a previous field and the second one is a data field and third one is a next field uh, in the previous field uh, is used to store the address of the previous node that is uh, when we consider the previous field of uh, the first node will be null so, uh, because there is uh, no more field uh, before the first field so the first so the uh, first node of the previous field 
can be nulled as well as the last node of the next field can be null. So in the doubly linked list, uh, we can have a two pointers that is forward pointer and another one is a backward pointer. And the forward pointer uh, can be generated as like the single linked list that is the uh, address of the second node uh, has to be stored in a uh, next field of the first node means the forward pointer can be generated and also the the previous value of the second node contains the address uh, the address of the uh, uh, first node that is uh, for example uh, we can have three nodes means we can have a three nodes in a list means uh, in the concept of doubly linked list the uh, the previous node of the uh, sorry the previous field of the second node contains the address of the first node and the and the address of the uh, sorry the next field of the first node contains the address of the second node that is right so uh, next linear data structure is a stack so, so stack is a, uh, a linear data structure and uh, the data can be stored uh, with the principle of last in first out order so in in the last in first out concept the the both uh, uh, push and pop operations uh, can be obtained in a single place that is called top value so, go. okay so first of all, what is going to be push and pop? So uh, the uh, the insertion operation can be identified by, by the push operation and the deletion operation is nothing but a, a pop operation. So both insertion and deletion can be done at the one end called top value. So these are all the some uh, uh, real time uh, example and uh, application of the stack and next one is a uh, 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 applications of the stack uh, there are uh, uh, so many applications so as like some uh, uh, important application is th this one uh, this is the uh, evolution of expression so the evolution of the expression so can uh, can be done by the using uh, by using the stack principle last in first out so that, uh, for example, so two into ten plus nine space six minus slash is an example for evolution. So first we have to uh, push the integer values, that is the numbers, into the stack um, based on last in first out principle. So the, so that uh, the the number two has to be pushed and the second one is number 10 has to be pushed and the, and the third one is we, we can identify the plus value that is the addition value so that and the and the elements in the stack mm, is been added that is uh, 2 plus 10 is equal to 12. so next we can identify the values of 9 and 6 so the 9 has to be pushed in a stack and 6 has to be pushed in a stack and next we can identify the symbol that is the operation the subtraction so the so the top two elements that is 9 minus 6 can be calculated uh, and stored as a 3 in a stack so next we can identify the element uh, sorry identify the, uh, identify the operators slash so that uh, uh, the 12 slash 3 the answer is 4 has to be pushed in a stack. So the uh, so the evolution of the the that example expression is four. So so the uh, evolution of expression is a best example is a best application of the stack. So let's we can have uh, some uh, gate questions on stack. So for example the uh, so the first question. Uh, the result evaluated in the post week expression 10 5 plus uh, 66 slash star 8 minus is 
so what is the uh, evaluation so what is output so that is the first two elements this uh, 10 and 5 has to be added uh, so the uh, result is 15 right so the total explanation in the next slide that is when uh, first uh, we can have a value that is 10 so 10 has to be pushed in the stack and we can have an uh, another input 5 th that 5 also pushed in the stack and uh, next we can have a input uh, operator plus so that the 10 plus 5 uh, so the 10 and 5 are added so the 15 has to be stored uh, and 15 has to be evaluated and the ne next input is 60 so 60 has to be stored in a stack and next input is 6 the 6 is also stored in a stack so next one is a slash so slash so the top two elements um, has to be divided that is 60 by 6 that is equal to 10 so the uh, so the 10 has to be stored in a stack so now the stack contains 10 and 15 uh, the topmost limit is 10 so next one is a uh, star star is a multiplication so 15 into 10 so 15 multiplied by 10 uh, so output is 150 so 150 so, so next one is uh, uh, next input is 8 that 8 will be stored in a stack and the next input can be identified um, as a minus well uh, that is a subtraction so 150 minus 8 so that 142 so the 142 is the right answer so, so in this evaluation the the option c is the right answer as 142 so the next question is uh, the best data structure to check whether an arithmetic expression has balanced parentheses is a stack so the uh, so the answer is stack because the evaluation of arithmetic expression and also the balancing the parentheses are the uh, are the primary applications of the stack okay so the output will be stack so i explain this uh, these are all the some uh, applications of stack so, so this uh, uh, in fixed to post fixed expression and the evaluation of uh, arithmetic expression and the balance in the symbols right so balance in the symbols are the uh, best application of stack so that the answer will be stack right so next question is uh, which of the following is essential for converting the infix ex infix expression to the postfix so infix expression to the postfix expression uh, formula conversion uh, we can have an operator stack so operator stack is a right answer so because uh, so the infix uh, infix to postfix expression so the operators uh, are to be stored in a stack value that is so uh, in the concept of infix to postfix conversion so the operant value uh, has directly go to the output and the operant so, sorry and the operator value so has to be stored in a stack so depending upon the uh, operator president's value the the operator is popped uh, so on so that so the stack with the operator uh, can be that is the operator stack uh, is used for the infix to process conversion. So the next question is, uh, given an empty stack after performing push one, push two, uh, so that uh, next uh, next operation is pop. So two is popped, then three and four are pushed. Uh, the next one pop means then four is popped. The next one pop means three is popped next one uh, push of five means the five is pushed so, so the next operation is popped is uh, so next operation is pop that is uh, five is popped so that the the top of the stack is uh, the option is one because so first one uh, first two operations of the push so that to uh, push of one push of two 
so that the the stack will be this format and the pop operation uh, can be done in a position of top so the two can be popped from the stack and the next one push off three push off four so the so the three and four are pushed into the stack and the next one is pop so pop means the topmost element of the stack can be popped that is four can be popped the next operation is also pop uh, and uh, three can be popped and now the now only one number one is a one is the last element in the stack so, so uh, next one is push of five so five can be pushed in the stack and next one up on the next operation is pop so that the five can be popped from the stack so finally one so number one is only on the stack so that the the output will be one so uh next question is uh, what data structure would you mostly like to see in a non-recursive uh, implementation in a recursive algorithm so basically uh, the recursive algorithm has to be worked by the principle of last in first out so the output will be stack so the so so the formally recursive function execution uh, depends on the last in first out principle so that uh, so, so it's a last in first out principle is a formal definition of stack 2 so the output will be stack fine so next question is uh, which of the following is not an inherent application of stack so that is the the first option is uh, implementation of recursion so just now i i told you that so recursion is based on last in first out order so th that will be the wrong answer and the evaluation of post week expression is an uh, is one of the application of stack so th that is not a correct answer and the uh, job scheduling so job scheduling is, uh, is a right answer uh, because so the job scheduling is a best example for q that is so, so, so that uh, uh, in the above four options, the job scheduling is only based on first in first out principle. Uh, so that will be the application of Q. So next question is, uh, how many push and pop operations uh, will be needed to evaluate the following expression by reverse Polish notation in a stack machine? That is, so uh, so the total number of push operation uh, can be calculated by the number of variables so the total number of pop operation uh, can be calculated by the use uh, by the use of uh, number of operators so uh, in the above example we can have the uh, we can have the question like that so uh, we can have uh totally a b c d e so that the five variables in a, in the example so five push operations needed for that uh and the number of operators are uh, plus star plus star slash so four operators so that uh four pop operations are needed uh, so the answer will be five push and four pop instructions so uh, i have already told you that uh pop operations can be identified by the number of variables so the push up sorry uh, sorry uh so the push operation can be identified by the number of variables and the pop operation can be identified by the number of operators so, so yeah, in, in all uh in all expressions the the push operations depends on the, the number of variables and the pop operation depends on the number of operators right so in the next and uh, very uh, interest question that the the seven elements a a b c d e f and g are pushed into the stack in a reverse order that is the starting from g <laughs> the stack is popped five times and each element is inserted into q the two elements are deleted from the queue and pushed back onto the stack. 
now one element is popped from the stack now what is the what is the what is the popped items so we can directly go for the uh, explanation part so the answer will be capital b uh, the reason for that the first step is the uh, the stack contains uh, this order g f e and d c b a and this a points the top pointer and the second step is five times stack popped so that this uh, uh, this a can be popped this b can be popped c popped d can be popped and e can be popped so that um, this uh, these five popped elements are to be stored uh, in a queue that is this a value points the front pointer and and this e value points the uh, rear pointer and the third step is two elements uh, is deleted from the queue that is a and b so the so the insert in the queue concept the insertion can be done in the front end sorry in the deletion can be done in the front end and the insertion can be done in the rear end so that uh, the two elements deleted from the queue is uh, a and b and those two elements uh, has pushed into the stack uh, now the stack contains uh, g f a b right g f a b so that the, the 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 top pointer points the value points the value b so now the popped element is the of the stack is b so because this b uh, contains the top element right fine so the next question is the so the evolution of post week expression so as like uh, uh, our the previous question so the uh, output will be 100 so uh, how uh, how it can be evaluated so the first operation is uh, 4 plus 6 so 4 plus 6 means so we have uh, we can have the uh, numbers as like first this two has to be stored in a stack and four has to be stored in a stack and six has to be stored in a stack so now the elements in the in the stack are two four six as like uh, bottom to top so next we can have a uh, operator as addition so in that addition the the top two values can be added so that the 4 plus 6 is equal to 10 so the first step is 10 so next operation is uh, next operation so next uh, input is uh, star value so now we can have the stack values are 2 and 10 so we can have an input as a multiplication so that uh, this uh, 2 and 10 are multiplied which is equal to 20. So the third operation is 9 by 3, which is equal to 3. And the fourth operation is 3 plus 2, which is equal to 5. And the final operation is a 20 into 5, which is equal to 100. So as like our previous explanation. So the <clears throat> so the so the post week expression so can be uh, evaluated by using the last in first out principle so the so the numbers uh, we can have uh, if we can get the numbers from the user means the, those numbers can be pushed in the stack if uh, uh, if we can have an operator from the user side as a input then we can evaluate the uh, we can evaluate the first two numbers on the stack by with this uh, with this operator fine <clears throat> so next one is so what is the value of post week expression so uh, uh, we can have the uh, uh, value of the variable uh, as like uh, a is equal to 8 and b is equal to 4 c is equal to 2 and d is equal to 5 so the so the uh, so the 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 post week expression is a b c d plus slash sorry plus minus and star 
so the uh, output is uh, uh, minus 24 that is the first step is 2 plus 5 is equal to 7 and the second step is 4 minus 7 which is equal to minus 3 and the th and the final step is 8 into minus 3 which is equal to minus 24 that is so next we can move to q so uh, q is one of the uh, linear data structure uh, <clears throat> in which the data has to be arranged uh, arranged the arranged uh, with the with the principle of first in first out so, so first in first out principle has to be followed in a queue so first in first out principle uh, uh, with the uh, concept of first in first out principle the the front and rear value can be identified in a queue so the so the insertion operation so can be done in the, in the part of rear and the deletion operation can be done in the part of front okay so just uh, uh, so the please remember that so the insertion operation can be done in the part of rear and the deletion operation can be done in the part of front <clears throat> So, so these are all the uh, applications of Q. So uh, as like our uh, uh, printer and uh, CPU talk scheduling, uh, job scheduling, process scheduling. So these are all the applications of uh, uh, Q uh, because the the first request can be um, can be executed first, and the second request can be executed after the first execution. So first in first out order can be followed so uh, uh, this is a very 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 simple question uh, from gate uh, yeah q yeah q is a first in first out list so the next question is so th this is a uh, explanation so first in first out uh, is a primary principle of uh, q that is so that so next one is a uh, mm, the linear list of elements in which uh, deletion can be done from the one end and insertion can be take place by other end is known as q so i have already told you that the the insertion of the data uh, can be done in the part of rear and the deletion of data can be done in the part of front so insertion at the rear end and deletion at the front end it's a basic principle of q right so uh, so the next question is how many stacks are required to implement a q so the output will be two so uh, why because so one stack uh, is uh, is used to perform insertion operation and another one stack is used to, to perform a deletion operation. So the inserted element can be stored in a one stack and the deleted elements can, can be stored in a, another stack. So that, so the, uh, when, when we are implementing a queue, we can have the stack, uh, stack or the two, okay. So, so, Next question is, uh, at a hill station, the parking lot is one long driveway uh, snaking up a hillside. Cars drive in and park right behind the car in front of them, one behind another. So the, uh, this is a best clue for identifying the answer. One behind the another. So one behind the another means that, that is uh, so that the invisible answer is Q. So, so the output will be q okay yeah so a car can't leave until the car uh, in front of it have the lift okay <clears throat> so the so the uh, so the second car has to be waited uh, until the first car can be removed so the first in first out uh, uh, principle has to be followed uh, in that concept so the answer will be q <clears throat> fine so next one is a uh, 
next question is uh, how many queues are needed to implement a stack so uh, total number of queues is two why because uh, one queue is for uh, inserting an element and another queue is needed for uh, deleting an element that is one queue is used for a push operation and another one queue is used for pop, uh, pop operation so the so the pushed element has to be stored in one queue and the, and the pop element has to be stored in another queue so that uh, we can have two queues for implementing a stack fine so next one is a uh, non linear data structure so in a non linear data structure the data are arranged in a hierarchical manner so uh, the data is not arranged in a sequential manner so the best example for the uh, non linear data structure is tree and graph so uh, <clears throat> so this is a uh, example for the hierarchical data structure fine so the all the data cannot be handled in the same level uh, so we can have uh, some uh, precedence to the data so that uh, the the data has to be placed in the various levels okay so which uh, so that in the nonlinear data structure uh, all the data are stored in a hierarchical manner so this is a uh, example for tree so tree contains the root node and edges so the edges is a uh, it is a direction between the two nodes and the and the parent node children nodes leaf nodes and siblings are the uh, are the part of trees so, so, so the siblings uh, is is nothing but a uh, number of nodes can have uh, same parent called siblings so that in this above example uh, a and b are the siblings why because uh, a and b are the uh, are having the same parent q so that a and b are the siblings so this uh, <clears throat> so the children's are the uh, the node can be derived from the parent called children's so the leaf nodes is a uh, every node uh, will be defined as a leaf node uh, why because uh, the node can have no children is called a leaf node right uh, so each and every node uh, may or may not contain the uh, children so so the a node uh, can't have a children called a leaf node okay so next one is a graph so graph uh, can be divided into uh, two types uh, first one is a undirected graph and second one is a directed graph so in a directed graph uh, there may be a chance for uh, cycle cycle means the starting and the ending node are the same in an undirected graph uh, <clears throat> there is no direction uh, that is uh, there is no forward and backward direction in a graph fine so the social media is a best example for application of graph right so uh, in a uh, gate question the height of the tree is a length of the longest root to leaf path in it the maximum and the minimum number of nodes in a binary tree of height 5 are so 63 and 6 respectively why because in the binary tree each and every node can have maximum two children so either uh, either there is no children or uh, only one children or maximum of two children called a binary tree so uh, so the formula for calculation uh, so the maximum number of nodes is equal to uh, 2 power uh, h plus 1 minus 1 so h is a uh, height value so height value so 2 power uh, 2 cap 5 plus 1 minus 1 so 2 power 6 which is equal to 64 minus 1 is equal to 63 
so minimum number of nodes are the h plus 1 the formula for minimum number of uh, nodes is h plus 1 so we have already known that the h is equal to 5 so 5 plus 1 is equal to 6 uh, so the output will be 63 and 6 okay fine so next we can go for linked list so linked list uh, i have already told you that so linked list is a collection of node with linked together uh, so in that linked list uh, we can have the three types uh, singly linked list doubly linked list and circular linked list in a in a singly linked list uh, each and every node has uh, uh, only two fields uh, first one is a data field and another one is a next field so that next field is used to, to store the address of the next node so the so the last uh, node uh, can be identified by the null value in the next field uh, in a singly linked list so in the uh, next one uh, it's a doubly linked list so uh, in a doubly linked list uh, we can have three fields in each node so first one is a previous field and second one is a uh, data field or input field and third one is a next field so uh, in the previous field contains the address of the previous node and the next field contains the address of the next node right so uh, the the first node the previous field of the first node can be null because uh, that will be the first node there is no more nodes uh, before that okay so the uh, and the last and the next field of the last node can be identified by the null value so that uh, that will be the last node in a list as a, as like single list so uh, one important note is so the head head is a pointer it is used to point the first node in a list uh, so hope you remember that so head is a pointer it is used to find the first node in a list. So this is a best example and the best application of array and linked list. So first one is an array. So, uh, so the memory can be allocated continuously in an array. So in a, in a linked list, uh, the memory uh, cannot be allocated as a continuous one. So we can we can take the memory from anywhere so that so the array is a static one and linked list is a dynamic one a linked list is a linear data structure but uh, the elements is not stored in a continuous location so uh, it is a best example so this is a uh, best one in a linked list when compared to array so the so that the <clears throat> we can go for previous slide so this pointer this uh, second pointer this first pointer and uh, sorry this first memory location and this uh, second memory location can be linked together by the use of pointer <clears throat> so uh, basically there are three types of pointers uh, singly linked list uh, sorry basically the three types of linked list a singly linked list, doubly linked list, and a circular linked list. So first, we, uh, first we can go for singly linked list. Uh, in a singly linked list, a sequence of elements in which every element has the link uh, linked to its next element. So uh, there is a only one pointer. That is only one forward link between the nodes. Uh, that is so each and every field consists of two uh, fields. Uh, sorry, each and every node consists of two fields and that is uh, uh, data and the next field. So data field is used to hold the element, uh, is used to hold the data and the next field is used to, to hold the address of the next node. Right. So uh, in the below example, so, so this uh, 100 is the address of second node. So it has to be stored in you know, uh, the, the second field of the first node. And this uh, this 300 is the address for the third node it has to be stored in the address of the next field of second node. So the, uh, uh, this is a, a principle has to be followed in a singly linked list. 
So there are uh, in a single link list there are many operations. So uh, in this class uh, we can have the primary operations uh, like insertion, deletion, and display. So the best uh, advantages of the linked list uh, over array is a uh, insertion at the middle value. So uh, in an array concept, insertion at the middle value is a toughest one. Uh, why? Because the uh, when we insert a single value in the middle means uh, it can affect uh, all the all the values uh, after that. So the, this insertion can be done uh, in the middle. Can uh, insertion can be done easily in the middle. Okay. So uh, in a linked list, uh, insertion can be done in a three place. So first one is insertion at the beginning. Insertion at the middle and the insertion at the end. So insertion at the beginning means so the, uh, uh, this is an uh, uh, primary list. So uh, when we when we have to insert a node from the uh, from the beginning of the list means so first we have to create a node. Uh, <clears throat> we have to create a node in the name of new with node structure. So then next uh, we have to allocate the uh, input to the node. So the uh, so the new node uh, can have an input of five. And <clears throat> so I have already told you that uh, head pointer is used to point the initial node or first node of the list. So, so the uh, head pointer is allocated uh, uh, to the newly created node uh, so that the coding is uh, new of next is equal to head so the address of the head node so address of the head node is capital a so has to be allocated in the new of next field so that the forward pointer uh, can be generated so th that uh, uh, newly created node has to be named as head value so that uh, 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 sorry why because the each and every uh, head pointer can be pointed as a first node in the stack so first node in the list okay sorry uh, first node in the list fine so next one insertion at the middle so insertion at the middle uh, is a, a very very easy uh, process in the linked list why because so uh, first we have to identify the position where we can where we going to insert so uh, as like uh, first we have to create a node with the node structure uh, as named as new and uh, we have to allocate the input uh, to the new node and uh, we have to assign the temp value uh, to the head position so that uh, so that the temp value so, so the in the concept of uh, insertion at the middle the temp value has to be placed the uh, has to be placed on uh, the uh, uh, for example uh, if, we, if we have to insert the node at the fourth position means uh, the temp value has to be placed in the third position uh, if you want to insert a node at the seventh position means the temp value has to be placed in the sixth position okay so the uh, uh, this is a uh, coding level for uh, insertion at the middle so uh, it is very easy uh, so that uh, the uh, the temp value uh, has to be placed in this one so the so the address of the new element first step is address of the new element uh, has to be placed in a temp in your next field of the temp value okay so that is address of the new node has to be placed in a next field of the temp value so next field of the temp node okay so that the the new uh, is an uh, address so the, the new has to be stored in the next field of the temp node okay fine so next one is um so next step is 
so the uh, uh, the new node so uh, uh, the temp of uh, next field has to be stored in a new of next so that uh, so that the so that the d value so d is the address of the next node that address has to be stored in a, uh, a new of next okay fine so next one is a uh, insertion at the end so insertion at the end is very very easy why because <clears throat> first we have to create a uh, node with the name of new uh, with some uh, nodes node structure so next uh, we have to allocate a uh, null value in the uh, new node of text field so that uh, uh, that can be identified as the last value sorry sorry last node of the list right so if uh, fine so <clears throat> next step is uh, so in the above in the above logic so that's a fourth element uh, will be the last last node of the list so fine so it, uh, uh, here so this null value this fourth element uh, uh, the, the the next field of uh, fourth element is null value this null value has to be assigned as a new of next field okay so new of next field so, uh, after that uh, the the address of new node has to be stored in a fourth 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 node of next field so that's all fine so next one uh, is a deletion operation so um, so uh, as like insertion uh, the deletion also can be done in the three places of the list so first one is a uh, uh, deletion at the beginning next one deletion at the middle and third one is a uh, deletion at the end so first one uh, is a uh, deletion at the beginning so it is very 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 simple so uh, uh, when we want to delete a uh, first node uh, the only one step has to be followed the uh, the head pointer has to be moved uh, moved to the next uh, second point i mean second node so that uh, uh, i have already told you that the head pointer is used to point the first node of the list okay so that the first node can be deleted so this uh, so in the in this example the head node uh, is to be uh, moved to second node so that the first node has, has to be deleted automatically okay second one so now next one is a deletion at the middle so uh, it is also very simple why because so this uh, uh, first we have to uh, get the input from the user that is uh, which node can be deleted uh, input uh, uh, that input can be retrieved from the user uh, for example, if we want to delete the, the third node in the list means, uh, so, so the address of the uh, address uh, of the deleted node or deleting node D has to be stored in the previous node. That's all. So the, this D has to be stored in this uh, uh, next field of B node so that this forward pointer can be generated so why because the next field contains the address of the next node so so this uh, b node the second node of address field contains uh, for example uh, if this field contains the d means so uh, the forward pointer can be generated towards d so that this uh, third element can be deleted automatically Fine. Uh, next one is a delete at uh, at the end. So uh, it is also very simple. Uh, why? Because um, first we have to identify the last element, last node in the list. So uh, by the use of this while loop, uh, uh, we have to identify the uh, null value uh, which where it is stored in the next node. 
fine so this uh, so this fifth node uh, so next to pointer so next to uh, uh, point uh, contains the uh, null value of the fifth node so this can be identified and this can be deleted so uh, if we delete this node then automatically this field this uh, this fourth node of next field will be assigned as a null because there is no more address uh, if we deleted this uh, e node automatically this uh, e went out so that this uh, uh, this fourth node uh, fourth node of next field can be assigned as a null value so it is very simplest one so next one <clears throat> so next one uh, is a display so normally we can uh, we can easily display the list value by the use of any for loop and uh, any while loop as like as right <clears throat> so circular linked list uh, uh, concept so last node is connected to the first node so there is no more beginning there is no more end node in the circular linked list okay fine so <clears throat> so circular linked list uh, uh, contains no, uh, no starting node and no final node because it is circular it is it is in a circle format okay fine <clears throat> so in a in a circular linked list contains the the singly circular linked list as well as the, the doubly circular linked list in a in a singly circular linked list uh, is a <clears throat> uh, uh, contains the single pointer between the nodes in a doubly circular linked list contains the double pointer that is forward and backward pointer in uh, uh, in between the nodes fine so uh, gate questions on the linked list uh, uh, is in a circular linked list uh, uh, which one of the following answer is correct the uh, the components uh, are all linked together in some sequential manner there is no beginning and there is no end and components of uh, so components are arranged hierarchically and forward and backward traversal within the list is permitted right so there is no beginning and there is no end is a right answer because in a circular linked list i have already told you that uh, we cannot identify the initial and the final node in the list right so this, this, this is a uh, our explanation so since the last node is connected the first node so there is no beginning and end node fine so next one is uh, next question is the linear collection of data elements where the linear node is given by means means of pointer is called linked list so the linear collection of data elements where the linear node is given by means so he is given by means of pointer so the so the two nodes uh, can be connected by the use of pointer called a linked list uh, this is a formal definition of linked list so linked list contain the set of nodes in a sequential manner and uh, uh, the nodes can be assigned or can be connected with the pointer is called a linked list so the answer will be linked list so the in a linked list concept the nodes are connected to other node by using pointer so either using double pointer or single pointer uh, or does not matter so the so the each and every node is connected with that by the use of pointers called linked list right so the so next one is a, a variant of linked list in which the last node of the list points to the first node is called we can easily say that it is a circular linked list why because so the first node and last node can be connected together right so there is no more uh, beginning and there is no more end there is no more initial node there is no more final node so we can't say that like that right so uh, so the answer will be easily identified as a circular linked list right so why because so the uh, uh, so the last node is connected to the first node so we can't say that uh, it is an initial node and it is final node and uh, so on that is okay so thank you very much for your patient listening and uh,
hope we'll meet you again thank you